Starting the day with a little coffee from Pret. It is bright and early on a Wednesday morning, middle of the week, but I need a coffee to get me going as always. I always need a coffee. I do like Pret, I've always been a big fan of Pret, and I've just started using, by the way, their subscription service, which I think is really useful. It's gonna be really useful for me as I go back to uni next week. And with their subscription service, you pay 20 pounds a month. And for that, you can have a maximum of five coffees from Pret all day, every day whenever you want, five coffees max per day, which should be enough to get you through the day. Uh, so that's gonna be really useful for me. I have actually just signed up and I've put a link down below for you guys to sign up as well. The big bonus that I wanna mention, you get the first month for free. So basically what I'm offering you down below is a month worth of free coffee from Pret. So get on there, sign up, Enjoy a nice coffee from Pret. You can get iced coffees in the deal, hot chocolates, normal coffees, tea, whatever's on their main menu, you can have it as part of the deal. So it's 20 pounds a month for a max of five coffees every day. Can't be bad. However, my day has just begun. I'm gonna have this coffee, I'm gonna head home, and we're gonna get on with the video. Thank you for being here, and welcome to From The Ash. It's good to have you here. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Link for that is down below, and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as well. Let's get started on the video, and let's get on with our day. Right, I'm home, I've had my coffee, and I'm gonna do something today on the channel that a lot of people often ask about, so I thought I would just take it on on the channel and let you guys know where we're at with it. So basically, today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what gear, equipment, you know, software, I use to make these videos happen. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about the cameras I use, the tripods, the editing software, the lighting, all of that. I'm gonna reveal it to you here today. And also, I am gonna link everything down below. So if you're here because you run a YouTube channel and maybe you wanna get some new gear, everything is linked down below for you. So check it out there. You can buy it via the links, or you can just have a look as well via the links in more detail and get more of a, you know, like a spec on what everything is. So it's all linked down below. Let's get into it. This is the gear that I use to make these videos on From The Ash happen. And the most obvious one I'm gonna start with is one that I actually can't show you because I'm filming on it right now, and that is, of course, my camera. I use a Canon G7X Mark II uh, to film all of my videos. Most of the footage is always filmed on one of those. Uh, I will insert some shots of it here. However, these shots have been filmed with my phone, so obviously the quality is not quite as good as the camera itself. It's a brilliant camera for vlogging. It's got the screen that flips up, as you can see, which is very, very useful when you're filming yourself. I've actually got it on the go right now as I talk to you. Uh, but it's a great little camera for pointing and shooting at yourself. It does have limitations, of course, particularly when it comes to shooting things like wildlife. I went to Longleat the other day and I was trying to get shots of the animals that were off in the distance and it proved to be a little bit of a challenge. So if you're a vlogger or you wanna do sort of vloggy style vlogs like I do on this channel, Highly recommend the Canon G7X Mark II. When you buy the Canon, it actually does come with a uh, battery. Of course, a proper Canon battery comes with it, and it also comes with a battery charging pack, which I've got here. Uh, there's the battery charging pack, so it comes with one of these so that you can charge your battery but one battery is probably not gonna be enough for you, particularly if you're out and about filming. Uh, I went to, oh, when I was in Cornwall uh, earlier this summer, I did quite a bit of filming every day, and one day I actually went through three batteries, just in one day. Uh, so it can, it's easy, easily done. If you're filming a lot, you're probably gonna want more than the one battery. So I have bought some more batteries um, from this company right here, Power Extra, and they provide this uh, charging pack along with two extra batteries, which I bought as well from Amazon. It's just USB um, powered, so you can kind of plug that into a USB port computer or obviously plug socket with a USB port in it. 
Uh, but yeah, extra batteries, you will need those. The camera only comes with one battery. So make sure you get yourself some extras and these batteries have lasted just as long as the Canon one as far as I can tell. So highly recommend this from Power Extra. Camera itself, I actually keep in this case day to day. It's just a, you can just see it's like material. It's like a wetsuit, that sort of material, you know? Um, so that is from Mega Gear. I've got this little case. Wasn't very expensive, pretty cheap. It's got a little clip there as well, so you can clip it onto, you know, your trousers or whatever, or your bag or whatever you need to. I always generally put this in my pocket or inside a rucksack or something. Uh, but this has been very useful, just keeps the camera from getting scratched up and whatnot. And along those lines as well, I actually bought these from Afunta. They are screen protectors, which I've got on the screen of this camera. Again, just stops it getting scratched up and very, very useful as well. I did actually drop this camera not so long ago and the screen protector cracked right through the screen. So if I hadn't been on there, I would have cracked the actual screen and I would have been in real trouble. So good idea to put a screen protector on if you can. Uh, again, not very expensive. Everything is linked down below with the prices there for you. I've got this one, which is kind of like a GoPro. It's like a sort of cheaper GoPro if you like. I will be upgrading to a real GoPro at some stage when I've got the budget to do it. Uh, but I've got this one from Crosstor. It's a 4K uh, camera which you you know use like a GoPro. It's like an action camera, um, which I bought. I've also got a tripod for it here, which I bought separately. Again, everything is linked down below with the prices. This one wasn't particularly expensive. We're talking under 100 pounds and it does do a pretty good job. There are limitations as well when comparing it to a proper GoPro but for the kind of thing I use it for, because my channel's not tremendously GoPro orientated, but it's useful to have one. So I've got this one from Crosstor. Does the job, quality's pretty good. Like I said, it shoots in 4K and it's got Wi-Fi capability as well. I've also bought a load of accessories to go with that. So a head clip, uh, one that I can put on my chest, you know, if I want to clip it on here as I walk along, or maybe if I'm playing five side or something. So that's the GoPro camera that I use. What else have we got here? These are my editing headphones. Very good noise cancelling. Um, and yeah, really, really good quality headphones. I actually searched up best uh, headphones for editing, you know, budget ones anyway, because they, they're not tremendously expensive. I think they were around 50, 60 pounds. Uh, so, but they are good. DT240 Pro Professional Headphones. And these are from Bayer, Bayer Dynamic. Uh, but they're really, I, honestly, I use these every single video I edit. They keep the noise in. They make sure that people who are sat with me, because often I'm editing while Joe is sat on the sofa next to me watching a bit of TV. She can never hear what I'm doing because they're really, really good at keeping the noise in. I also bought a case for those, which was separate. Again, not particularly expensive. Just keeps the headphones in good nick, you know? I also use a tripod, which again, I'm using it right now. So I'll insert some shots of the tripod here for you. And this is a tripod from Joby. It is a slightly more expensive tripod than the ones I've used in the past. I think this one was, again, around the 50, 60 pound mark. But honestly, worth its weight in gold. It's so sturdy, it's so reliable. Uh, you can wrap it around things, you can uh, change the angle of the actual sort of head of the tripod so that you can shoot downwards or shoot upwards. It's very, very versatile and I love using it. I literally use it every single video. And it's one that you can use as a sort of selfie stick as well if you want to. I have a ring light, as you can see right here. Uh, which I use occasionally. To be honest, at the moment, as you can see right now, I'm sat, we've got some big bay windows in our uh, lounge here, and I generally sit in front of those if I want to do a sit down talky video, because the lighting coming in through here is so good and so reliable. But I don't massively need this at this time of year. Very useful in the winter, particularly if you want to do a sit down video, because it gets dark at like two, three o'clock in the afternoon. This was from Blitzwolf Selfie Ring Light. Uh, again, it was just a sort of budget option really so that I had a little bit of extra lighting It's got a holder there for phones as well if you want to pop your phone in there It does come with a tripod as well Which you just literally screw that into the bottom there and you've got yourself a little ring light So useful in the right seasons that one. I also use these hard drives uh, Which are from Seagate if you're running a YouTube channel you need to have 
one of these to back up all of your vlogs on, all of your footage that you want to keep, uh, everything you need. This one is actually for the backup for our MacBook that we use to do editing and whatnot. Uh, but having a hard drive incredibly useful and necessary, I would say, so that you can keep all your footage, or at least, you know, the footage that you think you might need again. And of course, you're going to want to keep the backups of your old vlogs as well. So good to have some hard drives. These ones are from Seagate and the case itself is from Geronic to keep those safe and well. Editing wise, people will always ask about editing as well, what I use to edit. I actually use iMovie, which is, I've got a MacBook Pro uh, that myself and my wife Jo use, and the editing I do on there is via iMovie, which does the job for me. It's not the most in-depth bit of editing software, I've gotta say, it definitely has its limitations, and I do wanna try and upgrade that particularly moving forward into the new year and as the channel grows. But for now, it does do the job. It's a brilliant, basic, uh, free option. You know, it comes with every Mac. You can have it for free on there, but you can only get it on Apple products. You couldn't get it on a uh, Windows computer or anything like that. It's literally an Apple product. But if you've got a Mac, iMovie should do the job for you at a very basic level. From what I can remember, that is everything uh, that I use to film this YouTube channel. Like I say, I'm still very, very small when it comes to YouTube. I have around 1,500 subscribers at this point, which is amazing. Really, really grown in the last 12 months. So thank you if you are one of those people that made the 1,500 subscribers happen. It's not too late if you're not. You can still join the party by subscribing down below. The link is there. Uh, but the channel is growing and with that the equipment will probably improve as well It's always good to invest in yourself and in your business and in what you believe in and I love doing this YouTube channel So I will keep upgrading the gear as we go But for now that's what I use to make this channel happen and that is the end of the video I'm gonna keep it brief today. I just wanted to let you guys know the equipment that I use Hopefully that's been useful to you. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for watching do subscribe while you are here It'd be great to have you here for future videos that are coming your way. I'm actually off now to film another video, so the content is coming thick and fast. We've got some good videos coming up, so do subscribe, and I'll see you real soon for another video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.